Hey guys, Native Patriot here. I just wanted to uh, share a little video I saw and kind of go through some of her talking points. We've been talking about the border and the crisis of the border for as long as I can remember. As an immigrant myself, I'm always a bit insulted at how some Americans talk about people from other nations. Like, you do know the only original people here are the indigenous, right? Hey, indigenous person here. And I'm a little curious as to what you have to say. I mean, the rest of us, we're all imports. We've been called the melting pot of the world for a reason. Interesting that you say melting pot because what the Democrats have been spreading is this multiculturalism, which means importing the third world so they can celebrate their own culture here instead of having them assimilate or come into our country legally or properly being properly vetted and assimilated into our culture. So the Statue of Liberty reads, bring me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore, send these the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. It's a message of welcome and hope for a land of opportunity. Did it also say to help facilitate the cartels having a $150 billion industry, trafficking humans across the border, or fentanyl, causing over 100,000 fentanyl poisonings each year? Or how about the 320,000 for unaccounted children that have been trafficked into our country, that have been trafficked into known sex slave rings and known sweatshops. What about them? What you're selling is this weird utopian idea of hope when the impoverished people around the world outnumber Americans 10 to one. So how are we supposed to help out the world and bring them all in when the ones actually bringing these people in are trafficking them into sex slavery. It certainly doesn't say get out, we're full. In fact, America is far from full. The US population is actually facing major problems with an aging population and falling birth rates. If having children was the ultimate vote of confidence in the future, Americans aren't feeling that confident. Why aren't Americans having children? Have you stopped to ask yourself this question? Is it because of our food? Is it because of the microplastics we ingest? Is it because of the uptick in soy, the carbohydrates that we ingest? Or is it because back in 1962, when the Supreme Court decided to remove God from all of our institutions and change marriage fundamentally from a covenant between a man and a woman under God to two people in love and a tax form from the government, destroying the nuclear family, which creates many more fatherless homes, incentivizes abortions, which there are 3,000 abortions daily, incentivizes polygamy, which has destroyed the, the value of women, the empowerment of women by your people, places like OnlyFans, that have legalized online prostitution to empower women. Why aren't Americans having children? You might ask, or at least that would be a good question to ask instead of just saying that we need to import, we need to have a great replacement because Americans aren't having enough babies. Why aren't they having enough babies? So if we don't keep up with immigration, we won't have enough working people to sustain our system over the next 80 years. That's just straight facts, which is why, as a side note, the party that wants to close the border is also the party that wants to force women to give birth because we need workers one way or another. They would just prefer those workers were more white than brown. Here we go with race again. Okay, indigenous person here, right? I'm Native American with emphasis on American. There are very few people in this country that still give a shit about skin color, okay? What they care about is that the people coming in have no understanding of our constitution and the values that made that separated this country from every other country before it, from every other nation in known history. Our founding fathers declared to the world that our rights stem from God and that our man-made institutions, our government, our representatives are elected to protect those rights that they cannot be taken away. They can only be infringed upon or protected. That is it. So it is surprising to me that you are desperately trying to keep racism alive because it is easy to get people riled up about it. And I'm so sick of hearing about this from lefties. I'm so sick of hearing that seeing Native Americans 
is is racist, right? Because your people decided that in order to protect my Native American heritage, we must remove the Redskins logo. We must remove the lady from the Land of Lakes butter. We must remove Red Man Chew. There are so many examples of you guys erasing Native American culture to protect it. Just get it out of sight because seeing a Native American is apparently racist because somehow the Redskins logo created by a Blackfeet artist approved by the Blackfeet Nation in honor of Chief Two Guns White Calf is somehow racist because he's got a big nose or something. Guess what? I got a big nose. Is it racist for me to have a big nose? Because I fit into that stereotype or that caricature that you think is racist? It is... You guys are desperately trying to keep racism alive because you're avoiding the problems and intentionally pointing to race because it's easy, because it gets clicks. But what you guys are doing are allowing the American culture to get destroyed. And you have no idea how far down hell goes. You have no idea that most of human history, it was either a dictatorship or a monarchy. There, most of human history is slavery and war ruled over by kings. We don't have that anymore because of the fact that our founding fathers decided that our rights are inherent. We have rights because we exist, that were granted by our creator, that we were endowed with, and that the government's job is to protect those rights. And what you want to do is import all of these people that have no fundamental understanding of why America is the greatest nation on God's green earth. And you want to bring in these people who are dependent on the government to get scraps and handouts that will continuously elect Democrats for your stupid tribalism. Plus, keeping people terrified of an invasion or angry that their country is being overrun makes people easier to control. Humans don't make great decisions when we're scared or angry, which is why the party that wants to close the border keeps telling us about everything that should make us mad and afraid. And it doesn't matter if it's Hunter Biden or stolen elections or pronouns. We were supposed to be furious about the economy, but since the economy is doing really well, we've now pivoted back to the border. What? The economy is doing well? Over $35 trillion in debt? Inflation is not rising as fast as it was after Joe Biden took office. And that, that is that like a big win for you? I don't know about you, but you're like, you're standing in your kitchen. So you want to make it appear like, oh, look, I'm like middle class. I'm one of you guys oh, going through the same struggles. No, clearly not. Because if you're actually going shopping, you'd realize that food prices have doubled for the most part since Biden took office and Harris helped out. So I don't even know how to respond to that blatant and overt lie. The economy is not doing well. Republicans are constantly telling us the border is a catastrophe, an urgent crisis that puts us all in danger. You know, it doesn't put us all in danger at the same time, but we are in danger. You can just ask Officer David Lee, who was just struck and killed by a criminal alien who shouldn't be in this country. And Black Lives Matter, they're nowhere to be seen. A black American innocent cop was just murdered by a criminal alien. Weren't you saying that Black Lives Matter? Why aren't you upset that David Lee just got murdered by a criminal alien. But instead of trying to solve the problem, those same representatives that tell us the sky is falling just took a three week vacation and are now openly admitting it's a political issue they don't plan to do anything about. You know what, this video is already long enough so I'm just gonna stop there. But yes, uh, most of the Democrats and Republicans are what we're upset with. We've been calling them the uniparty, right? It is the people up on high that have been screwing over the American people for many, many decades. And yes, we hate them all. And yes, we believe that they create problems to take advantage of, to give them more power and take away our freedoms. So what you should be advocating for is what MAGA is advocating for, individual rights, sovereignty, and to bring American jobs back, to actually keep America, America, instead of importing the third world 
and having this multiculturalism, like you said, we should be a melting pot. You know, in Native American culture, you didn't have to be a member of the tribe. You didn't have to be blood related to the tribe to become a member of that tribe. And I believe that America in large part should be that way. We should be a melting pot in that same way. If you wanna become part of the tribe, then you have to do something grand for the tribe and then you can be accepted into our tribe. But as of right now, what you're wanting to do is just replace Americans with God knows who and just assume that they're going to do the best thing for the country when they have no understanding of what America is actually about and they have no idea why America is the greatest country on God's green earth. And that's why I will continue putting out videos like this or speaking out in as many ways as I possibly can to stop narratives like yours from spreading because it is disgusting that you are desperately trying to keep racism alive and you are desperately helping the Harris administration facilitate trafficking into this country, causing over a 100,000 fentanyl poisonings per year of Americans, causing hundreds of thousands of children to be trafficked into sex slavery in sweatshops. And you see it as compassionate and that they're just going to replace us. And if it's all going to be bunnies and flowers and foo-foo and utopia, oh. no, it's not. We actually have to actively work to save this country. It's not just going to happen by importing foreigners. What a disappointment you are. And I don't even know you. I gotta be honest, I really don't. I've seen you on X a couple times, but your rhetoric, it seems pretty shallow and I'm surprised that you're as big as you are. But to all my followers out there, God bless you guys. God bless America. Take care. See you later.